Britney Jean Spears, born December 2, 1981, is an American singer, songwriter, dancer, and actress. She is credited with influencing the revival of teen pop during the late 1990s and early 2000s, for which she is referred to as the Princess of Pop. After appearing in stage productions and television series, Spears signed with Jive Records in 1997 at age 15. Her first two studio albums, Certified, Diamond in the U.S., Baby One More Time, 1999, and Oops, I Did It Again, 2000, were global successes and became two of the best-selling albums of all time, along with making her the best-selling teenage artist of all time. The former's title track was named the greatest debut single of all time by Rolling Stone in 2020 and the latter held a 15-year record for fastest-selling album by a female artist in the United States with first-week sales of over 1.3 million copies. Spears adopted more mature and provocative themes and aesthetics for her next two studio albums, Britney, 2001, and In The Zone, 2003, and made her feature film debut in a starring role in Crossroads, 2002. She became the executive producer of her fifth studio album Blackout, 2007, which is often critically referred to as her best work. Due to a series of highly publicized personal struggles, promotion for the album was limited, and she was later involuntarily placed in a conservatorship. Since then, she released the chart-topping albums, Circus, 2008, and Femme Fatale, 2011, the latter of which became her most successful era of singles in the US charts. She embarked on a four-year concert residency. Britney, Peace of Me, at Planet Hollywood Resort and Casino in Las Vegas to promote her next two albums Britney Jean, 2013, and Glory, 2016. In 2019, Spears' legal battle over her conservatorship came to light, leading to the establishment of the hashtag Free Britney movement. In 2021, her testimony of public record revealed she accused her management team and family of abuse and expressed a desire to terminate the arrangement. Spears has scored six number one albums on the Billboard 200. She also has four solo number one singles on the US Billboard Hot 100, Baby One More Time, Womanizer, Three, and Hold It Against Me. As a featured artist, the SNM remix also topped the Billboard chart. Other singles, Oops, I Did It Again, Toxic, and Scream and Shout, topped the charts in most countries. With Free in 2009 and Hold It Against Me in 2011, she became the second artist after Mariah Carey in the Hot 100's history to debut at number one with two or more songs. Spears' heavily choreographed videography is considered a focal point to the success of her career, for which she has been awarded the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award. She has earned numerous awards and accolades, including a Grammy Award, 15 Guinness World Records, 6 MTV Video Music Awards, 7 Billboard Music Awards, including the Millennium Award, the inaugural Radio Disney Icon Award, and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Regarded as a pop icon, Spears has sold over 100 million records worldwide, including over 70 million solely in the United States, making her one of the world's best-selling music artists. She was ranked by Billboard as the 8th biggest artist of the 2000s decade. In the United States, she is the fourth best-selling female album artist of the Nielsen Soundscan era as well as the best-selling female album artist of the 2000s. In 2004, Spears launched a perfume brand with Elizabeth Arden Incorporated. Sales exceeded $1.5 billion as of 2012. Forbes has reported, Spears is the highest-paid female musician of 2002 and 2012. She has also topped the list of most searched celebrities seven times in 12 years, a record since the inception of the Internet. Britney Jean Spears was born on December 2, 1981, in Macomb, Mississippi, the second child of James Jamie Parnell Spears and Lynn Irene Bridges. Her maternal grandmother, Lillian Portal, was English. Born in London, and one of Spears' maternal great-great-grandfathers was Maltese. Her siblings are Brian James and Jamie Lynn Spears. Born in the Bible Belt, where socially conservative evangelical Protestantism is a particularly strong religious influence, she was baptized as a Southern Baptist and sang in a church choir as a child. As an adult, she has studied Kabbalist teachings. On August 5, 2021, Spears announced that she had converted to Catholicism. 
Her mother, sister, and nieces Maddie Aldridge and Ivy Joan Watson, are also Catholic. At age three, Spears began attending dance lessons in her hometown of Kentwood, Louisiana, and was selected to perform as a solo artist at the annual recital. Aged five she made her local stage debut, singing What Child Is This, at her kindergarten graduation. During her childhood, she also had gymnastics and voice lessons, and won many state-level competitions and children's talent shows. In gymnastics, Brittany attended Bella Caroli's training camp. She said of her ambition as a child, I was in my own world, I found out what I'm supposed to do at an early age. When Spears was eight, she and her mother Lynn traveled to Atlanta, Georgia, to audition for the 1990s revival of the Mickey Mouse Club. Casting director Matt Casella rejected her as too young, but introduced her to Nancy Carson, a New York City talent agent. Carson was impressed with Spears' singing and suggested enrolling her at the Professional Performing Arts School. Shortly afterward, Lynn and her daughters moved to a sublet apartment in New York. Referred to as the Princess of Pop, Spears was credited as one of the driving force behind the return of teen pop in the late 1990s. Rolling Stone's Stacey Lamb explained that she helped to usher in a new era for the genre that had gone dormant in the decade that followed New Kids on the Block. Spears would lead an army of pop stars, built on Slick Max Martin Productions, plenty of sexual, innuendo and dance-heavy performances. She became one of the most successful artists of all time and a cautionary tale for a generation, whether they paid attention or not. Glamour magazine contributor Christopher Rosa described her as one of pop music's defining voices. When she emerged onto the scene in 1998 with Baby One More Time, the world hadn't seen a performer like her. Not since. Madonna had a female artist affected the genre so profoundly. Billboard's Robert Kelly observed that Spears' sexy and coy vocals on her debut single, Baby One More Time, kicked off a new era of pop vocal stylings that would influence countless artists to come. In 2020, Rolling Stone ranked the song at number one on a list of the 100 greatest debut singles of all time and Rob Sheffield described it as one of those pop manifestos that announces a new sound, a new era, a new century, but most of all, a new star with Baby One More Time. Spears changed the sound of pop forever, it's Britney, bitch. Nothing was ever the same. Spears was at the forefront of the female teen pop explosion starting in 1999 and extending through the 2000s, leading the pack of Christina Aguilera, Jessica Simpson, and Mandy Moore. All of these performers had been developing material in 1998, but the market changed dramatically in December 1998 when Spears' single and video were charting highly. RCA Records quickly signed Aguilera and rushed her debut single to capitalize on Spears' success, producing the hit single Genie in a Bottle in June 1999 and Aguilera's debut album a few months. Later, her album sold millions but not as many as Spears. Simpson consciously modeled her persona as more mature than Spears, her I Wanna Love You Forever charted in September 1999, and her album Sweet Kisses followed shortly after. Moore's first single, Candy, hit the airwaves a month before Simpson's single, but it did not perform as well on the charts, Moore was often seen as less accomplished than Spears and the others, coming in fourth of the pop princesses. Fueling media stories about their competition for first place, Spears and Aguilera traded barbs but also compliments through the 2000s. Throughout her career, Spears has earned numerous awards and accolades, including a Grammy Award, 15 Guinness World Records, 6 MTV Video Music Awards, including the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award, 7 Billboard Music Awards, including the Millennium Award, the inaugural Radio Disney Icon Award, the Glaude Media Awards Vanguard Award and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. She is listed by the Guinness World Records as having the best-selling album by a teenage solo artist for her debut studio album, Baby One More Time, which sold over 13 million copies in the United States. Melissa Ruggieri of the Richmond Times-Dispatch reported, she's also marked for being the best-selling teenage artist. Before she turned 20 in 2001, Spears had sold over 37 million albums worldwide. As of 2017, according to the BBC, she has sold over 100 million records worldwide, making her one of the best-selling music artists of all time, and more than 70 million records in United States, including 36.9 million digital singles and 33.6 million digital albums. 
What is your favorite song of Britney's and why?